Hi everyone, it's the 17th of May 2022. I'm on the, the way of your Augustine Camino. I've just left Faversham, just gone past the football ground, just behind me. I'm on my way towards Canterbury, ancient kind of pilgrim centre. The Augustine Camino is actually goes to Ramsgate, so I won't be uh, completing my Camino today, but certainly hoping to arrive in Canterbury later maybe even a little bit further as well see how it's time to go about 20 past 11 in the morning so I've left the centre of Faversham 15-20 minutes ago and now I'm starting to reach the countryside as you can see I've got a motorway to, to cross or go under in a minute and then uh, on the way across the country to Canterbury so it should be a really nice walk I'm just looking ahead um, so, kind of Kentish countryside, a nice sunny day in May, it's really quite warm, so it's lovely. Um, it's a month since I did the last part, um, stage three of my walk, which I managed to reach Faversham of course. So I've picked up my stamp today from the Shrine of St Jude's, I think it is in Faversham. And the next stamp I think might be in uh, Canterbury itself, at the cathedral I guess. Um, I'm not expecting too much on the way to be honest, apart from a few villages and things, certainly uh, no major shops or towns that I'll be passing through, just generally some little villages. So I'm just going to relax. I think it's 11 miles to get to Canterbury. So we've got quite a lot of time. Obviously Canterbury is uh, easily connectable to get back to my hometown of Ashford too, so that's really nice. So I'm just going to enjoy it. And uh, as I kind of uh, travel through the day along the way, about some things and update you how the journey's going in a while. See you soon everyone. So I'm just continuing on the way now. This is Orton under Bleen, as mentioned in the Canterbury Tales. So it's quite nice. Obviously the kind of feel quite close to kind of a, the footsteps of pilgrims and uh, from the past. So this is great. You can see it's just a uh, a little bit of a valley here, meandering, meandering, undulating, sorry. But it's great and um, you can see it's really peaceful to be honest. You can just hear the birds and the wildlife. And it kind of makes you try and forget about things. I'm trying to think what's going on in my life. There's lots of things with my job and things which, you know, I've got the day off work today got some priorities and one of the things I've started to do is um, just reading the Wim Hof method book it talks about breathing and cold showers and things so that's interesting um, generally the breathing like I kind of feel like I'm doing to an extent already with the kind of meditation and things although you do feel so much better for meditating and for doing the breath work the cold showers not quite managed to sort out yet um, I've got it on cold, I wouldn't say it's um, freezing or ice cold um, yet, but it's a start. And just thinking about Camino and everything else, which, I've, which I have done, you know, I set off from Rochester November last year. This is my, I think the fourth day of the, of the way. Obviously there's so much which you can gain from just doing it um, day after day, having that peace of mind. But still there is value in this and having the space and the time as a horse over there. You might be able to see it somewhere. Um, and just being a, taking a break away from the, the fastest of life really, the stresses of life and overscheduled and overworked and everything that comes with it. And, um, Think of my son Edison, who obviously, um, hopefully, we'll see later. He's at nursery today. You know, there's so much kind of like stress which he grows up in in the world. Um, he doesn't even know about anything which happened with COVID 19. I don't think he knows anything about it. Um, he doesn't know anything about Ukraine. Which all the things, things are good because you want to avoid him from all that kind of stress and things like that. You can see the church up here, which I'll be heading up towards. In a second the horse is over there so yeah I'll keep on the way I'll let you know how it goes it's 
still on the way from a no uh, man's orchard just the other side of Chartham Hatch it's been a very pleasant walk to be honest it's been very solitary hardly seen anyone is it a Tuesday today so a lot of walkers and you know ramblers not out really today it's been very nice the weather's great kind of chilled my mind down a little bit about an hour to Canterbury now but the frustration and this is something which I've been thinking about with a flora of the Augustine Camino so far is at times the signage is fantastic at other times it's poor and I understand there's limitations and things what they can do um, I mean I walked around the golf course earlier and to say you know golf courses are big aren't they so it's frustrating I probably lost an hour again on my journey but it's all part of it I'm really enjoying it I'm not really in a rush there's a little squirrel there he's just running up that tree if you can see him so I was hoping maybe to get a little bit ahead of Canterbury maybe get as far as Fordwich and get the home back um, or train back from Sturry but very unlikely now so it's fine I'm looking really just to get to Canterbury, um, St Dunstan's, I think I get a stamp from St Dunstan's which is, just a second I'll switch hands, um, quite near the train station and there's a pub there as well so I might get myself another liquid refreshment if I, if I manage it and the time works out, see the butterflies, so you can just see there's wildlife, you get straight away squirrels, uh, butterflies and earlier I was walking through a wood um, about a mile and a half and I was like, what's that? It's a pig, it was a black pig. Oh, so is that a wild boar? I, it was, I didn't get too close. Um, didn't want to kind of go massively towards it, but it was amazing really. And that was squirrels and birds and things which I've seen. So it's really nice, you can see absolutely no one around. Hardly at all. Obviously when I reach Canterbury, a uh, major centre, it's gonna be a very busy city. Um, uh, pilgrim, uh, pilgrim centre basically, a pilgrim centre of pilgrimage for people from medieval times and that's what I'm doing today although Canterbury is not the final destination, that'll be Ramsgate and that's going to be another day so just a quick thing with Augustine coming I was thinking maybe you know I'm not sure if it's a charity if it is a charity or not but that'd be a great concept a great idea you know if it was a charity and you can really kind of uh, promote the benefits of um, pilgrimage and improve the signage and get a bit of funding you know from lottery groups and things like that for it and really kind of promote the work and make more people walk this Augustine Camino the benefits of mental health and physical health and everything that goes with it I'm just reaching the end of this uh, little orchard now no man's orchard on Charlton Hatch just uh, coming close to Canterbury to see where, where I should leave it and um, within the next hour Canterbury Cathedral should be on a well should be even in Canterbury or certainly on the horizon. So see you all soon. So here we are, Canterbury. It's been the best day so far on the Augustine Camino arriving at the cathedral, which is just fantastic. Um, hopefully you can see it somewhere up there. There's lots of renovation works at the moment, but it's been absolutely best day so far on Augustine Camino. Um, on to Ramsgate, whether that be one day or two days next. Um, so now I'm just going to relax, get myself a refreshment. Um, see you all soon, everyone.